Hello everyone, this is Liam from Rogue Miniatures. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my hobby table. Um, so if you've been following the channel, you'll know that I'm doing uh, a series on the Imperium subscription. I've been putting some videos out on that. Um, currently fighting my way through a pile of Necrons and Primaris Space Marines. Um, but in the package that I got sent out this month, basically with it, you, it's it's a re really simple model, it just comes with the walls, the floors and then the doors and then a couple of little accessories like these uh, storm bolts that go on top. But one of the things that I didn't like about it is that you can only either glue the, um, the door shut or you can have it glued open. So you can't have it so it, there's no mechanism or hinge on the door. Um, to allow you to basically have it open or shut. So I just wanted to do a little tutorial on a little technique that I learned way, way, way back, probably when I wasn't even in double figures. Um, I used to do uh, sort of like more like scale modeling. That's how I first got into um, into the sort of like modeling and tabletop um, like hobby. I'd uh, do like you know little tanks and planes with my uncle. So, so this is just a little technique uh, to show how you can basically put a a small hinge on the door so you can have it open or closed. So, as I said, this is um, a little like technique that I picked up doing scale modeling. So, I, like I do think that there's a lot that um, you know, hobbyists who do tabletop can learn from scale modeling. Um, you know, they've been doing it a lot longer than you know, we have, and in terms of like the way they paint the models and the way they add little bits of you know, realism like this is, uh, you know, it really help like, you know, just provides a more realistic piece. And this is nice because obviously there's a, there's a door on either side you can use this as, you know, just your container. You can even use it as a kind of little bridge between something. Um, and it's just nice to be able to see um, what's in the model, what's inside. The, the inside is all fully detailed. So it was a shame just to glue the door shut, I felt. And this could be something that you can basically take this piece of knowledge and apply it to other uh, miniatures and, and do the same. So. Without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So in order to do this, um, you're going to need a few pieces. So the first one is a little pin vice hobby drill. So this is just, in case you've not seen one of these before, this is just a little handheld held, um, handheld drill with a little vice uh, grip at the front and some tiny little uh, drill bits. So I've got a, a bunch of little drill bits here, um, ranging from kind of, you know, actually, you know, a couple of millimeter all the way down. So I think this is one of the smallest I've got, and this is like probably like 0.1 of a millimeter. Um, it's it's absolutely tiny. Um, so you need a pin vice drill. If you can get one that isn't squeaky, that's a bonus. Mine is very squeaky. Um, so it enables you to put some pilot holes in the piece. These are just some, um, just like some hat pins, I think they're called. Um, but any like, you know, a pin, safety pin or um, little tack or something um, will do. You just need something with a, a sharp point. So second bit, we're gonna need some super glue because although we want the door to move, um, we want to secure one side of um, our mechanism into the into the piece and then have the other bit free. Um, so finally, and this is the uh, this is the, the money maker. You need to have basically you know something that the door can articulate on. Um, so like a, t a piece of metal uh, is ideal, but the problem you're going to have is because this piece is so small uh, you need to have something that you know is you're able to actually use um, 
I think for this uh, this piece, I, I was going to use something like a a paper clip, um, but I think even a paper clip is too thick. So this is for really small models. This is what I like to use when I'm, I'm doing something like this, and it is literally just staples. So you'll only need one staple, but and I'll show you how I would do it once we get going. But essentially, these the little legs of the staple. If you can see that here, but um, the little legs of the staple. Zoom in. This is all we need. So we're going to just bend these off and then just keep the two little bits that would that would bend and hook under when you, if, if you actually use the staple to put paper together. So that's all you need. You know, pin vise, some pins, um, some super glue and staples. And then if as a bonus, uh, so as a, as a bonus, um, if you have a pair of tweezers, this could make it a little bit easier just putting this tiny little bit of staple into place when we come to uh, actually glue it, glue it all together. Okay, so <clears throat> I've painted the insides of the, the piece. Um, just give it a quick, uh, uh, quick paint job. I've um, I'll put the tutorial up for the the actual paint job in another video, but I just want to keep this to the actual, um, you know, putting the the door on. Um, so what we need to do is, as you can see on this side, I've already added a pin. Same here. So that was what I showed you before, um, and that's what the door will be mounted on. So what we need to do is get our pin vise, and I've put like a really small um, small bit in. And when you're using something like this with a tiny bit, you want to keep uh, the bit that's sticking out um, of the actual vise head uh, as small as you can. Um, I was stick it protruding like as little as you can because when you're when you start to drill um if it's too long it'll be like kind of bending or flexing and that's when you can um that's when you can like slip and you know cut yourself prick yourself with, with the pinhead um so what we want to do is we basically want to on the opposite end so this end here we want to there's a, like a little um there's like a little sort of uh plastic like uh, like a little lump here and that's kind of like to when you stick the door on um, so it looks like it's on a hinge so that's where obviously the door would be hinged so we will basically drill a little hole here drill a little hole on this side here and then we're gonna take the door that's the one I've already drilled and on the same again on these hinges that they put on for you know for like for show um we're actually gonna drill a tiny little hole here and a tiny little hole there so that's why we needed to use the um the staple because that leg of the staple will be perfect for what we need to do so all i did with this is i just twisted and just bend this back and forward there we go so what you'll be left with um where are my tweezers everything you just left with a tiny little uh bit of metal and that will that will make our little hinge so we need to do that one more time so we've got the hinge for the other side and then We'll start drilling the holes. So the next step is to take our hat pin or any pin, the, as long as it's got a, a sharp end. And this is to make our pilot hole. So the um, so the drill bit will start 
um, will have something to grip to when it's you start drilling. Really important that you do that because it's such a small hole that the it will just slide off. And then if you if it slides off and you damage this, then you're gonna have um, you know it's gonna cause you a headache because then you'll have nothing to put your actual pin in for your door. So what we're gonna do is. We're just going to find the center of that and then I'm just going to make a tiny little hole just by pushing down. And then we will do that same again on the, on the opposite side here and then finally we'll do it on the door here and here so now that we've put our pilot holes in um, we're going to start actually drilling this out so with it with the uh, with like a pin vice drill you it's just powered by you so once you've got it in place in the little pilot hole uh, you just start twisting see that's what you've got to be really careful it's quite hard for me because I'm kind of trying to look at the camera as well as uh, as well as do it. So I'll probably do the actual drilling off camera. But basically, you just start to um, twist very gently at first, and then the actual length of the um, of the pin that we're using is probably about four millimeters. So we probably want to drill in to the into the hole about two millimeters into the um after two or three millimeters into one side and then two to one millimeters in the other so i'm, I'm going to probably drill into the actual big piece that's going to be less fiddly uh three millimeters and then i'm going to drill one millimeter into the door but like i said because it's quite tricky i'm just going to do this off camera so now we've drilled our holes in the um where the hinges on these on this piece is going to be done that in the in the both in the actual frame of the um the door frame of the uh, cargo container and on the hinge of the doors so we're just going to take some super glue and just put a little dab right on the end of the pin and then we're just going to insert the pin into the hole like so and then just strain it up so when it's coming out straight and then we'll do the, the same to the other side and then we are ready to put the container together so now it's time to actually assemble the container and we've got our nicely painted insides so all that detail is done um, now, when we assemble the container, because we want to obviously get the door on the hinges, um, we want to do it in a particular way. So we'll, we'll take the floor section and we will put that and glue that in, actually glue that into place. Again, because it's a bit difficult, I'm going to do that off camera, but um, this is exactly how you do it. I'm going to get the door and where well, we've got the pin there, slide the door on the pin on one side and then just hold that in place you can use a little bit of blue tack if you want and um, just put it here and it'll keep it uh, steady while you um, put it together and you're gonna get the other door if we can have a bit of all focus please um, and then we'll put the pin on that side and then same again if you use a bit of blue tack, you can hold it in place so it won't move. And then finally, we're going to take this side and then we're going to slide that into the door and, uh, and put it all together. So like I say, it's a bit tricky for me to do while I'm talking on camera, so I'm just going to do this off camera. Um, when you've got those all those bits in place, um, you can glue the top on and your container is complete. So here we have it, um, this is the 
finished piece in terms of being put together um, and just ready for the outside to be painted. So as you can see, we can have the doors down and you can see that detail inside, all dirty and dark. Um, so that's all painted. So yeah, so you can have the doors down or you can put them up into position. So you can use it in a game. Um, being open, closed, use it for objective. These would be quite good to use as like little, um, uh, I don't know, like forward, like HQ, um, like battlefield hate temporary HQs or something. You can put some, um, you know, some screens or whatever inside or whatever. I, that's what I think I might do with one of these. Um, make some, uh, some like. On a computer, um, some seats, uh, something like that. Maybe put some antenna on top of it or whatever, um, and yeah, make it into like a kind of like forward like command um, module or something. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, on how to uh, put hinges um, on the doors of your model so you can have open and closing doors. But in fact, just one before I go. Uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Fatboy who does the um, the backing music for my videos. He's a really talented guy. Uh, produces like loads of like techno, and, like alternative, um, like progressive, like cool, just cool sounds. So if you look for um, patient, if you look for Patient Richard on uh, Spotify, you'll be able to find some of his stuff. And once again, thanks for doing the, the music for me, mate. So I really appreciate it. All right, see you later.